Hey, my name's Inter, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is not a video I want to particularly make, uh, but we're going to be talking about the layoffs that Hi-Riz did uh, today. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to uh, cover it and uh, give some thoughts on it and stuff like that. I've already put out a major video today uh, about some like changes that could be made to Smite 2, uh, the community feedback on it and stuff like that. This video is not going to be monetized. Uh, it, it's not the kind of video you should monetize, uh, but I did want to talk about it. So yeah, there were some uh, layoffs at Hi-Riz. I believe it's affected all studios, but uh, of course it has affected Titanforge games as well, uh, the people that make Smite. And so we'll just go over this article and a post from uh, the CEO on Twitter as well before we get into things. So, Smite 2 developer Hyra Studios has laid off an undisclosed number of employees of, as the MOBA sequel struggles throughout its early access period. Hyra Studios CEO Stuart Kism announced layoffs on X slash Twitter alongside a shift in strategy for Smite 2, which launched its early access August 27th and is planned for full free-to-play launch in 2025. We're making some difficult but necessary decisions to ensure Hyra's long-term success with a specific focus on positioning Smite 2 for a long and sustainable future, he said. As part of this initial reorganization and reprioritization, we are laying off some team members across high res. This will disproportionately impact those in marketing and publishing roles, as well as some from our Evil Mojo, GNA, and Titanforge divisions. The game team roles impacted disproportionately affect our team working on cosmetic skin content and system features. High res is now focusing entirely on Smite 2 beyond small team supporting light updates for its other games. It is exclusively prioritizing gameplay development in the near term instead of cosmetic and monetization features previously planned. Uh, Kism, Kazam, I don't know how you say this guy's name, dude. I probably should know at this point. Uh, we'll, we'll say Kism for the rest of this video assured the development team hasn't been decimated by the layoff, saying it's still of a significant size and larger than the developed team behind the original Smite for the majority of its life cycle. Our goal for Smite 2 in the near term is to create the best possible game experience for our community and a game that provides joy to players and can sustain itself long into the 2030s. So yeah, that's that. It's a brief IGN article. We'll go over uh, his tweet on Twitter as well. Let's zoom this in. Today, we're making some difficult but necessary changes to ensure high risk long-term success with a specific focus on positioning Smite 2 for a long and sustainable future. As part of this internal reorganization of prioritization we are laying off some team members across high res uh, so these first couple of paragraphs are basically uh, what was said in the article so we'll start down here this news has a real human impact at a tough time for workers in this industry each impacted individual is a talented and dedicated professional who has poured their heart and soul into our games letting them go is a heartbreaking decision reflects a failure in my leadership and one for which i take personal accountability these are all good people who contributed positively to the company none should view this as a personal failure i extend my deepest thanks to them for their contributions to the company and their role in helping entertain and bring joy to millions of players. This move follows a comprehensive review of our strategy and operations. In the game division, we have decided to concentrate our efforts entirely on Smite 2, outside of small teams supporting light updates for Paladins and Smite 1. Interesting, uh, they don't mention Rogue Company or Realm Royale Reforged or anything here. I'm not sure if those games are entirely, like, already on maintenance mode or entirely dead. I haven't really checked recently on a lot of the other high-res IPs. But yeah, basically, uh, Paladins and Smite are going to be on uh, maintenance mode. Obviously, Smite 1 was already on maintenance mode. I'm not really sure about Paladins. I don't follow it too much, but I know the game's not been doing well. So within Smite 2, we are almost exclusively prioritizing gameplay development in the near term, such as new game modes and gods, as well as quality improvements over some cosmetic and monetization features previously planned in the run-up to the game's free-to-play launch next year. So yeah, we kind of already knew a little bit about this. They've, they've already said previously that uh, they're focusing less on monetization than they initially planned to. Notably, the core dev team currently working on Smite 2 after these changes is still of a significant size, larger than Smite 1's team was throughout most of its life cycle, outside of a period during and shortly after after the pandemic. The team working on gods and gameplay features versus skins and monetization progression system features is larger than the Smite 1 team has ever been for such features. Our goal for Smite 2 in the near term is to create the best possible game experience for our community and a game that provides joy to players and can sustain itself long into the 2030s. As we've gained experience throughout the alpha, the process of migrating gods from Smite 1 to Smite 2 is now clearer and we also understand better what players want from the game. We're doubling down on ensuring this transition meets player expectations and moves faster, taking into account the lessons we have learned in the early alpha. While while these changes are difficult, we believe they are necessary and we will emerge stronger from them. We appreciate your continued support and understanding during this challenging period and the support and thanks to, uh, you give to those employees who are impacted and have given so much of their passion to help entertain us all. Thank you for standing behind us as we build the future of hi and Smite 2. So yeah, there you go. That's all the facts on the situation. Uh, we'll just move back here and I'm just going to talk about it for a bit. So obviously, uh, this is terrible. Uh, it's happening sort of industry-wide. Uh, maybe it's affecting hi um more though, considering how badly the uh, other projects they've got to do doing and uh, how uh, late Smite 2 is, basically. Well, not, not late, I suppose, but like how, um, maybe how early it is is a better way of putting it. You know, Smite 2 is not really ready yet. Smite 1's on maintenance mode. A lot of their other projects are either on maintenance mode or they're dead. And yeah, it's uh, really unfortunate. It's affecting the whole industry, but it's probably affecting uh, Smite and high res uh, a lot more. And of course, uh, my heart goes out to everyone that's uh, lost, lost their job because of this, man. It absolutely sucks, uh, especially so close to the holidays uh, and that kind of stuff. It is really unfortunate. Uh, it's more than unfortunate, honestly. It's heartbreaking. Uh, it 
my heart goes out to them. But yeah, as, as far as like, uh, is Smite 2 dead because of this? I, I would say no. Uh, they, it's, they've announced that the layoffs are mostly from like the cosmetic and like marketing team and stuff like that, which isn't really going to necessarily affect the core development speed of the game. And they do say they're going to try and like uh, ramp up the development, focus more on Smite 2. So maybe it's more so like they're kind of killing off a lot of their other projects and putting all of their baskets into all of their baskets, all of their eggs into the Smite 2 basket. And uh, hopefully that pays off for them, man. Hopefully that pays off for them or maybe more of these layoffs are going to come and, and uh, that is something that we no one wants to see. Yeah, a bit of a somber tone in this video, but I don't think it's the death of Smite 2. Uh, I, I think uh, layoffs happen. It's happening kind of industry wide. It may be affecting uh, high res worse than a lot of uh, other games that are doing much better than, uh, for example, Smite 2 is right now. But I don't think it's the immediate death of the game. Uh, as they say, like the dev team for Smite 2 is still uh, multiple times larger than it was in the early days of Smite 1. And the early days of Smite 1 is when we got a lot of our best stuff in that game, if I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, the early seasons, like maybe not so much for like uh, conquest features and stuff like that. We got a lot of better ones uh, towards the end of Smite's life with that. But in terms of like uh, adding new game modes, adding uh, new gods, like they were getting a new god every two weeks in the early days of Smite 1. So they clearly are capable of that, even with a slightly smaller dev team. And I highly doubt they will have laid off any of the core devs that are really churning the cogs of the company. If they did that, you know, the game would, the game would really be in trouble, but I assume they're smarter than that. So they probably got a lot of the core devs that are making the big design decisions and probably got hopefully enough devs to still uh, keep things running and uh, keep things going at a reasonable pace. But yeah, that's basically all I want to talk about for this video. I've had some people requesting that I do uh, kind of cover these layoffs. It's not something I really want to cover. As I said, this video is not going to be monetized. It's just people wanting to hear my thoughts on it. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm a servant of the people, if anything. But yeah, my, my heart goes out to the people that have lost their jobs. Uh, it's truly, truly a sad day. And uh, hopefully Smite 2 can be stronger for it. I, I don't see how that's going to happen. I don't see how uh, laying off a bunch of your dev team can make the game stronger. I don't think it will. I'm pretty sure that's corporate speak. You know, they're just, they're just trying to like spin this into the best possible scenario uh, that doesn't make it look like their company is completely imploding, which I don't think the company's imploding necessarily, but obviously uh, laying off, you know, I think someone threw the number of 50 staff around. I'm not sure if that's entirely accurate. Don't take my word for that. That's something someone said on Twitter or Reddit or something like that. Uh, but that's something I've seen like 50 people or something like that. I'm not entirely sure on what the actual like dev team size is for Smite 2, but I imagine it's not, you know, so small that 50 is like half the team or anything like that. And yeah, as they say, a lot of them are from like the monetization and systems and marketing teams that are not necessarily core devs. But yeah, they still pour their heart and soul into this game. They still did uh, absolutely necessary and uh, meaningful things for the game. So yeah, my heart goes out to them and uh, I will catch you guys for another video probably tomorrow. I think it'll be patch notes tomorrow. So yeah, see you guys for that and I'll catch you guys in another one later on. Have a great day and peace out, you nerds.